Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can easily retrieve stock information with Python and export it to Excel. So by stock information I mean for example the adjusted close price, closing price, high, low, opening price and the traded volume by day. Even if you have never used Python before, you should be able to follow along. The only requirement is that you have already Python installed on your machine. If not, there are already great tutorials out there to show you how to install Python in just a few minutes. Ok, with this being said, let us get started and install the required libraries for this project. Press Windows and R and type cmd to open up your command prompt. If you downloaded the folder from the description box down below, you will also find this text file with the required libraries. To install the libraries, simply type pip install and then the name of the libraries. So first pip install pandas. By the way, your screen might look a little bit different as I have those libraries already installed on my machine. Next we need xlrd, so pip install xlrd and then pandas data reader and last but not least you also need daytime, so pip install daytime. After we have now installed those libraries, I will create a new python file and I will call mine stock underscore retrieve.py. In there we will import the libraries we just have installed, so this will be import pandas underscore data reader as web, next from daytime import daytime and import pandas as pd. As a next step, I will specify the start date, so from when we want to have the stock information. We can do this by setting start equal to daytime and then the year, so for example I will use 1st of January 2020, so this will be 2020,1,1. Make sure that you do not add any leading zero in here, otherwise you will get an error message. Next we will do the same for the end date, so for example 31st of July 2020. Now that we have the start and end date, we can specify the ticker symbol for which we want to retrieve the stock information. So in this example I will use the stock of alphabet. So this will be stock, it's equal to the ticker symbol of alphabet which is GOOG. Almost done, we will now use the pandas data reader to retrieve the stock information. So this will be df, it's equal to web.datareader, then our ticker symbol. Next, which API we want to use, so I will use Yahoo in here, and then our start and end date. Now we can take this data and export it to Excel. So this will be df dot to Excel and then the name of the file. And I will actually concatenate the file name with our stock name. So I will use an F string for this. So this will be stock data and then our ticker symbol dot xlsx. Alright, after saving the file, let us run the script from the command prompt. First I need to navigate to the file location, so we can do this by using change directory, so cd. And since my script is stored on the folder on the desktop, I will use cd and then desktop, then the name of the folder, so in my case stock retrieve. Now as we are in the folder, I will type python and then the name of the file to execute the script. After pressing enter, we should see that there will be a new excel file in our folder. Alright, this was working, so let me open up this file. And here we have now our stock information for the given dates. If we want, we could also retrieve multiple stocks. So let me delete this file here and in the script I will create now a list of ticker symbols. So for example we can also retrieve Tesla, so TSLA and 3M. And after saving the file and running it again from the command prompt, we should see the new Excel file. Alright, and here we have it, the stock information for multiple ticker symbols. Ok guys, I hope you found this tutorial useful and see you next time.